All right, guys, tight schedule. We tried to do this in one day instead of dragging it out for like five days, like some conferences, right? Get it all done. But that means it's a tight schedule. We're moving quick. One thing we've learned is you got to move kind of quick, right? Um, so don't be offended. We have a gong over there, okay? It's not because we closed a deal. It's because we're asking you to finish up. Um, this is our fifth annual, by the way. Fifth annual Open Nation, first time in D.C. We did a small one before, a little baby one. This is the big one. Um, and I was, I was reflecting on, on how we started this. Um, and, and a lot of the inception for it was, um, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, it's because I actually didn't really like going to conferences. <laughs> and uh, a lot of us were sitting around in the office thinking like, well, let's see, how can we get out of this? Ha -ha. How can, how can we grow a, a startup without going to conferences and, you know, dressing up and talking to strangers we don't know, right, and, and handing them flyers? Have you all been there? Right? Right? So, uh, one idea was actually, um, it's fun, it's good to talk about bad ideas too, right? So, w one idea was that we would do it online. We'll all just dress up, like from here up. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and uh, we'll just invite everyone to come. And have, who's been on a web webinar, right? I mean, we've done that a million times. Um, but I, I just, I, I think we realize, like, IRL is really important, right? In, in, in real life, just translation for you there. Um, and, you know, we, we, can in, we can invite our friends, our customers, right? Uh, the people we love, um, share with you our favorite cocktails together. Uh, and it's, you know, we can do something a little more intimate, right? Um, so that, that was kind of the inception years ago. Um, and I, I might have told this story before. It was terrifying the first time we did it. Um, and I'd like to think it's a little easier every time, wouldn't you say, Jessica? Yeah, okay, cool. I'm always afraid to say that, you know. <laughs> um, but again, like I said, I'm going to get in trouble if I take too much time. So we have our MC today. You guys are so lucky. Seriously, you are so lucky. We have an IdeaScale co-founder as the MC. She is a, a newsletter author. <laughs> she holds the world record at IdeaScale for standing at a standing desk for the longest amount of time. <laughs> she is uh, the host of the Open Nation Idea Scale podcast, fastest growing innovation podcast west of uh, San Francisco Bay, from what I hear. <laughs> okay, so if you're not listening to that podcast yet, you should definitely check it out. Open Nation would not exist without Jessica Day. Put your hands together. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. That's very warm. Did this button? Oh, yeah. All right. That's right. Hit the button. Okay. Yep, that's in the slides. Welcome, everyone, to Open Nation. Um, it's really fun to host this in DC for the first time, our global summit. It's, I really love the uh, venue that Lara got for us, the National Union Building. It's actually on, on the uh, National Registry of Historic Places. Lots of fun facts, but my favorite one is that this floor was actually the site of the largest illegal gambling ring that the DC police ever broke up. <laughs> so a nice historic tidbit for you all. Um, I don't think I'm embarrassed to say that when we started this company about a decade ago in the middle of a recession, that we did not know that we were gonna be in a room like this today where we've got NASA coming up on stage to talk to you about how they're using our tool, Freddie Mac, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and as Rob said, this is only the fifth open nation that we've ever done. So a lot has changed. I wanted to, this is a, actually us like thinking, moving into our first office. I don't know what DVD this is. And um, it was actually in the back of a dermatology office. That's where we started. <laughs> So it's, it's kind of heady for us to be here today, to be talking to people who are using IdeaScale all over the world. Um, 
But one of the things that's actually really important about today is I, I want to tell you why we do it, and I want to tell you why we do it by introducing you to a few stories. Some of you might know these stories already, but we're going to look at it through the um, introduction to a couple people. This is Brian, Brian Stearns. Uh, he's a great guy, very thoughtful, creative type. He's actually a United Way leader. He's 26, he lives in South Carolina, and he works in the marketing department of a home improvement tools company. He's never launched a product in his life, um, but he's been thinking about one for a long time. And this is him on the day that he launched this product as a major line at the Home Depot. Uh, this product actually was selling 10,000 units per week when it first launched in the spring and summer, and it was growing. It, caught them millions of dollars in its first year. It's, it's a bucket mister. You actually see these like at a lot of 5Ks or marathons and um, tailgating at sports events. And what was really cool is that it, it, was, it was hugely transformative for both the company that worked on it that's making those millions of dollars, um, but also for Brian himself. This was featured in HGTV. It was featured in Popular Mechanics. It won an award from Home Depot that year for the most innovative product of the year. And in fact, actually, Brian got an award from the mayor of the city of Anderson, South Carolina, because this created so many new jobs for the city. So this really set him on a path for his career, because TTI, the company that employed him, they like, brought him along through the entire process. They taught him, like, this is how we like, prototype. This is, you know, and they also let him develop his own marketing campaign, a social media campaign, to promote it when it went live. So it was really inspiring for him. And it changed, it changed his life. Um, so the other person I'm going to introduce you to is this is another um, favorite story, one of our original ones. This is Trudy Givens. Trudy is a mom. That's her daughter there in the corner of the picture. You'll see the rest of her in a second. Trudy's been working in this picture for the Department of Corrections for 19 years. And she lives in Wisconsin. And this is her with her family, with President, then President Barack Obama, telling her daughter, what a smart idea Trudy had, because Trudy had the idea to take the Federal Register, which is essentially this like, document that gets printed out and sent all around um, to the government. It has announcements and like, information, but it's also online. She said, can we just make this an opt-in if you want the printed version, and the rest of us can just access it online? And it was such a practical idea, she didn't think very much of it, but that practical idea has saved the government over $32 million since they've implemented it. And so it's those small changes that make people like Trudy realize, like these ideas that I'm having all the time can have a really big impact if we can force multiply them across an entire you know, nation in this case. And these are the reasons why we do what we do. This is what inspires us. This is why all of your account managers, Greta, Carrie, this is why we do what we do, because we want to find the Trudys and the Bryans. We want to set them on a path, and we want to amplify their voice. And in the Silicon Valley version of this presentation, I would tell you that this is all thanks to Ideascale. But that's not true. We've been a part of that process, but the real reason that Trudy and Brian are able to succeed is because of the people like you in this room. Uh, the idea gets to you through Ideascale, but you are the people who are connecting those ideas to resources, and you're the people who are giving them the training so that they learn how to do this, and you're the people who are talking to leadership and making a case when it seems silly and saying, no, I think a bucket mister is going to make us millions of dollars per year. <laughs> and you're the people who are going to bat every day when it's really, really difficult. And so that's why we created Open Nation, because this is a celebration of you, and it's actually a really hard job. And, um, And it's still, to this day, most of you, this is your fir the first time you're launching a program like this, so the best resource that we can give you guys is each other. So when you're saying, well, I don't know, I don't know how to develop a set of metrics that's going to be meaningful my, for my organization, you're going to be like, but I remember, Susan, try help. That's what she did. I'm going to get in contact with her. Or I'm going to see if I can use similar slides to what she showed me today. Or you can be like, you know what, I don't know, we've got a mentoring program we want to develop. I know Aaron and Tim at Simplot, they use design thinking to train their employees. I'm going to ask them how they did it. So that is the whole purpose of today, is to connect you to each other so that this does not feel so lonely and a little bit more exciting and a little bit more repeatable, even if it's not always predictable. And to that end, 
One of the tools that we give you is the uh, bingo game that's inside your program. Does anybody have that open? In the, um, so the whole thing is meant to make it a little bit easier for you guys to connect to each other. Can I borrow yours for a second? So this has got a series of prompts that are like ways to start the conversation. Like Rob said, we're all a little bit awkward at conferences, and so it's hard for us to make that leap to like ask the question even if I want to know the answer from you. So each one of these little squares is an activity you can take or a conversation prompt that you can have with another person. And when you do that, you can find the next idea skill person near to you. We've got the little pins on if, you can't, if you're not sure who's idea scale. And we'll give you a sticker. And if for every row of stickers that you complete, you can go get something from our swag table. We've got good stuff this year. You can carbon offset your trip. You can get a nice reusable water bottle. Um, but to make it a little less awkward, because it's still a little weird to do this for the first time, I want all of you to find somebody you don't know right now and do one, do, do one of these prompts right now. I'll take a minute here. I'll, I'll start with you, Mark. 